Oh, we're good. I feel like a, uh, like I'm a musician, like I'm Janet Jackson or something. I should be dancing with this thing. Okay, uh, as people kind of stroll in here, I'm uh, thankful to be here. It's always fun to talk uh, basketball. If I had, uh, if I had the time, I think I'd run one of these as many times as people wanted them. I mean, if I had a big enough basement, I think I'd invite you all, we could just sit and talk hoops all the time, right? Unfortunately, uh, we don't necessarily have that, but uh, the more that we can share stuff, and the only real crime for me is that I know that you guys probably have as much information as I do, and I can't necessarily get it. Uh, I'll just, maybe before I mention this, I'll, I'll hang around afterwards, chat, and talk about whatever for as long as I can. Uh, these guys, how have these guys been so far? They're working hard? Oh. Did Chris McDonald work you guys out? Was he weak? Okay, I'll pass that along to him. Okay, Mr. Mart, I know you're, uh, have you been, you've been to his gym before? Have you go, are you going to go since? Are you going to go after this? Okay, I'll make sure he knows then that you were weak. Okay, he, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll make sure that he knows that uh, you got that figured out. Okay. Uh, I'm doing ball screens today, obviously. Uh, we're going to look at some fundamental stuff about it. We're going to look at some team concepts. I'm trying to get through as much as I possibly can. I think I could do an entire day on ball screens. Uh, it's interesting to note that at our recent national championships, they put a couple of rules in to legislate out ball screens for the younger kids. There's value in that. I understand why they did that. I mean, they're doing that because they're trying to take away some of the tactical teaching at the younger level, so hopefully you work on fundamentals. The reality is that ball screens have become such a huge part of the game. When we scout, so we obviously do scouting reports and we prep for teams now, in some ways it's made my job simpler. It's almost the only thing we prepare for now is how are we guarding the high ball screen? How are we guarding the wing ball screen against this team? We play uh, UBC in our league, and they're real much a ball screen team. And if we had, if there's 75 possessions in a game, we'll see 100 to 110 ball screens in a game. Like it's the whole game at the high level. It really is, okay? It really, really is. Now, at your level, not so much, but it certainly is trickling down. And in my experience internationally, I started to recognize that it's so much more sophisticated and the fundamentals of teaching it is all about decision making. And can we teach these guys to do it properly? And then can we teach them to make decisions out of it? So hopefully I'm gonna talk about fundamentals of screening on the ball, uh, I'm going to try to get to decision making within these guys and we'll see how they do out of it, okay? Uh, after that, I'm going to talk about just general spacing. And one of the things that I learned that when I moved from high school to university that I always knew was important, but I didn't realize how important. And as you get more and more athletic, it's more and more important than that is space, right? And just the concept of as much as you possibly can, stretch the floor from east to west and north to south. It was always important, now it's way more. I, I don't know you guys, but I've always wondered, like this is about, this is the same size as an NBA court. Maybe give or take a foot or two, maybe. Okay, it certainly is the same width. So you can imagine, I mean, I know when you guys play, sometimes it probably seems like it's crowded. Can you imagine if everyone on the floor was 6'9 and a better athlete than anyone you have ever seen before? You start to think about, how do they ever get to the basket? Like, how do they ever get anywhere? And it's all about space and stretching as much as they possibly can. That's why the three-point line is so important, right? And the deeper three, if we ever go to it, we'll, we'll improve that a lot, okay? All right, let's uh, talk about some things. So I'm just gonna talk about fundamentals, and I think I'm gonna throw something at you right away that you're gonna say, Shep, you're an idiot. Stop saying that. And I, I want to do that for a reason that we can kind of question and debate little things, okay? Can I get a couple guys up here, please? Three, actually, three. Okay, perfect. Now, when we screen, when, when I teach it, when, when I say we, as our program, right, as well as 
when it was a national program, it was all the same thing, right? I mean, there's a few different areas we screen on the floor, right? One is, sorry, is a mid-screen, okay? Screening here, what we call a lane screen, that we're on the lane line, and what we call a wing. And we would never go below here, and I'll talk about that area. We'd never screen someone that was below here. We never screen guys in the corner, okay? I'm not a set of floor, good. Can I get Christian, you want to guard? And you want to guard me? Perfect. Okay? Awesome. Okay? Come, 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 come. Good. We need a ball. You need a ball. Just to make me look good. Thanks. We got it? Excellent. Now, a couple things we want to teach. I want to do some breakdown drills right now, but I want to make sure we're emphasizing these things. I do breakdown drills. I'm going to teach it right now and talk about it to you guys. And I'm going to show you how we emphasize these things. The key thing for a screener, key couple of key things is that we sprint to the screen. Most screens will come like this. No, no, we're not going to do that, okay? We're going to start away, and we're going to sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. The harder we can make it for him to be a factor, the better it is. Sprint to screen. Secondly, most kids will screen in what I call, uh, there's no easy way to say it. They stand there and hold their nuts, right? Okay? You've seen this type of screen? Right? Well, I don't understand it. Why? We're making ourselves as small as possible here, right? You're like the four-year-old kid who has to pee but doesn't want to stop playing, right? Okay? I'm standing like this, okay? You are allowed to stay within your body. You are not allowed to extend your arms here or here. So we screen fist on elbows. I know my university school used to teach it fist on fist. We get called for this a little bit much, okay? Especially guys tend to lean out. So we've changed it to here. We straddle his high leg and my belt buckle is on his hip, okay? And I'm here, okay? I can't do this, I can't do this, and I can't do this but I sure as heck don't have to do this, right? That's a really, really, really important thing. The last thing I'll teach you, this will be the one where everyone goes, ah, you're an idiot, is watch the way I roll, okay? Go ahead, do it. Good. Anything different? Someone said something. Yeah? What? I turned the other way, good. This is something I've changed recently through just watching international basketball. I always taught this, okay, as I'm sure probably 97.5% of the people in this room, right, that when we screen, good, I open so that I can see the ball. Is that the rationale you guys always heard, right? Good. To me, it's more about speed. How quickly can I get to there? And how quickly can I sprint out of the screen? In addition to that, certainly at our level, the only real value in this one is, is if they switch it. If Christian comes under and I can seal him here and hold him off, that's the only real value in coming underneath. They'll almost always come over the top or lock me in. So there's no value in that. So the quicker I can get to there, the better. So from here, instead of me pivoting and getting into a slide, I step and turn my head and I get into a run, which is now the way we teach it. Okay? And we'll talk about that a little bit more. Okay? Perfect. Can I get um, everybody up? Everybody, everybody. Give me four lines, guys. Give me a couple guys here with basketballs, a couple guys on that wing with basketballs, two guys underneath. Actually, give the balls to the guys underneath, actually. Perfect. Four lines. So, Boris, you got a line? Christian's got a line? Good. You got it? You good? Perfect. Just going to work on a couple things now. Now, we also emphasize their path to the rim must be wide. Here's our first space concept. Okay? We're going to screen there. Good. Perfect. We're going to screen here. Perfect and he's gonna roll outside. Good. What I want you guys to do is this. 
Good. Is throw cross court? We can alternate. Good. I'm throwing and I'm sprinting into the screen. Full speed, full speed, full speed. Stay low, be strong, receive it. Jab to the baseline. Good. Crossover step, boom, on that sound. I must run outside the cones. Okay? I want to create this space. I don't want to be on the same line as him. Okay? We teach this sort of arc motion. Okay? Let's see if I can do it at speed here. I always end up doing this. I end up breathing hard and he can't hear me anymore. Good. Sprint. I got you. I got you. Screen, 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 screen. Push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Excellent. Good. All right? Screeners stay screeners. Guards stay guards for now and we'll flip it. So you guys can dribble and go to that line. You guys can dribble and go to that line. You guys, Christian listening, can screen and go there. Boris, you can screen and go there. We got it? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push. Come at him. Good. Stop. So first time, right? Boris, front pivot. Front pivot. Here we go. Boom. Good. Good. Here we go. Why am I putting the cones? They're actually a little wider than how I like them, to be honest with you. But I like to overemphasize it a little bit, especially in a drill type setting. We need to run. We need to create space and get outside. Good. I love that footwork, by the way. I love that footwork. Outside, inside, pivot. Good. Bam. Outside, inside. Good job, boys. Here we go. Screen, pop. Good, good, good. Christian's holding his nuts again. Here we go. I got a pee, Christian, or what? Here we go. Get your forearms up. Be a screener. Get your forearm. Here we go. Push. Good. Good. Stop, stop, stop. I really want you to emphasize this, okay? All these guys. Is I'm here, my forearms out, and my high leg steps. Okay? My high leg steps. Okay? Let's do it faster and let's sprint harder into it. Ready? Go. Good. Now, use your voice and tell them you're coming to get them. Use your voice, tell them you're coming to get them. Go, push. That's it. Well done, well done, well done. Now we're going to add some things to this, right? And we're going to talk about how we handle the ball. So all we're looking at is our fundamentals of sprinting into a screen and sprinting out of a screen, okay? So I, I hate the term pick and roll. I prefer run, screen, run. Run into the screen and run out of the screen, okay? Roll has the thing of, I'm sort of slowly moving down the lane, right? 24 second clock, the game is not slow. We need to go quicker, right? Sprint in, sprint out, okay? As much as we can. All right, let's add a bit here. Any questions about that before I move on? No? Good. Perfect, okay? Let's work at some stuff now, okay? Hold up. Guys, go off. Give me three guys that can stay here. Three guys that can stay. We can leave the pylons for now. One, two, three. Perfect. Who is it? Quick. You guys got it? One, two. Boris, you got it? Perfect. Go outside. One ball only, guys. Take, keep yours, Riddell. Awesome. Come up top. Perfect. Go wide, Christian. Perimeter. Boris, be perimeter. Perfect. Good. Now, we're now going to work at how we come off of it, but at the same time, how we space which is really, really key, okay? These guys can be anywhere. I'll be a coach, I'll be a permanent screener, okay? I'm gonna be a coach, I'm a permanent screener. The ball will go to one guy, I'll come up and get him. Remember what I said, hey, stop it. Jump stop into it, okay? I'll pass it a ball, jump stop, good, bam, good. Now you got both pivot foot, right? It's a key thing, by the way. I'll take a second here, right? I mean, the rest of, outside of, us and the USA, and us is changing, right? This move is traveling. It is. If you open step, it's a travel. And it's coming. Which kind of makes you think, if you teach kids to do this, there's only one way they can go. That way. Right? When you think about it, if I intern, there's only one way I can go. So as a defender, if I'm smart about it, I can straddle a pivot foot and make it really tough, or at the very least, I have to dribble and then go, right? So we teach a lot of jump stop, okay? Everything is a catch jump stop. Now I can go this way, or now I can go that way. Total side note, I got off track, sorry. Okay, perfect, all right? 
We come here. You're going to jump stop into it. Good. Catch. Screen. I got you, Riddell. Come off of it. Now, Riddell's got two choices. I want Riddell to turn the corner hard and try to get to the paint. Boris, stay there. Perfect. Boris, if you see him turn the corner, you have to make space. So I want you to slide down the three-point line, looking for the ball to shoot it. Perfect. Same thing, right? Penetration principles. Christian is going to come up to create his space behind Riddell. The farther he goes, Christian, the farther you have to go. So if he makes it to here, you've got to be right where he was. Okay, so Riddell, you've got a choice right now. We're only going to give you one choice right now. Sorry, you don't have a choice right now. You don't have a choice. You're going to get a choice. Now you don't. I'm going to scream for you. I want you to attack the rim hard, get to the paint, make your pitch to Boris, or stop, pivot out, and make your pitch to Christian. Got it? Good. Here we go. Come. Got you. Bam. Come. Good. Boom. Riddell, get the rebound. Good. Pass to the shooter and find a new spot. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Who shot the ball? Who shot the ball? Boris, give it to shoot. Give it to Boris. Get out. Get out there. Get out there. Good. Boris, I got you. Boris, I got you. Same thing. Come. Hard off of it. Good. Bam. Good. Boris, get the rebound. Boris, get the rebound. Good. Pass to the shooter and follow. Same side. Pass to the shooter. Follow. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come. Boom. Good. Christian, you got it. Pass to the shooter. Christian, get the ball. Pass to the shooter. Let's go. Pick up the pace now. Pick up the pace. Pass to the shooter and get out. Same side. I got you. I got you, Riddell. Good. That's nice. Good. Pivot, Riddell. Well done. Play. Pass to the shooter. Pass to the shooter. Get out. I got you. I got you. I got you. Good. Bam. Good. Now we're playing. Good. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Pass to the shooter. Get out. Good. Here we go. Good. We're getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of it. Pass to the shooter. Stay there, Boris. Get out, Riddell. Get out, Riddell. Good. Here we go. Give him space now. Stop, stop, stop. You see what they're doing already? I'm not watching this, right? Is, and this is the number one thing we're trying to change, is players doing this. Man, is that boring. Move. You're too easy to guard. He comes at you, move. Move, 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 move. You got it? I'm going to get Christian here. You ready? Boris? Okay, come. Go. Good. Good. Excellent. Now, we're going to add a decision now. We're going to make them have to read something. Bring it up top again, Christian. Good. Actually, you take my spot. Now, I'm going to give you guys a choice. You can turn the corner. Okay? Go a little farther, Riddell. Give me a little more space. Always stretch the floor. Good. Again, I said to you, Riddell, if I turn the corner, what are you doing? You're sliding, right? Now, most teams will come out and hedge you a little bit. Make this difficult. So what I want you guys to be able to do is, okay, bam, is come here, open up, and drag it out. Okay, so the defense has come. You want to drag him with. Stay on that. Okay, or even if Riddell saw a hard hedge, he could even come towards the ball. Because I want to be able to throw that so that you can get it to Christian when he rolls. Does that make sense? Good. Boris, you're doing the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys three choices now. You're going to come off the screen. Screen for me. Good. Like we did the first time. All the way, all the way, all the way. Good. Or you're going to come off the screen and drag the hedge. Good. We're going to come this way and drag him. Good. Make a pitch, make a pitch. Or your choice, attack again from there. Yes, Riddell, do what you want to do. Slide. Okay? You got three choices. Attack, one dribble and drag him. Pass, one dribble and drag him, and attack again. Do you understand? Are you sure? Yeah. Christian, space the floor, go on that side. I'll get Riddell. Stay there, Riddell. Ready? Here we go. Come. Boom. Good. Good. Move with him, Christian. Move with him. Good. Get your own rebound. Pass to the shooter. Fill his spot. Good. Quick, 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 Riddell. Quick, Riddell. Good. Get that spot. Get that spot, Riddell. Get that spot, Riddell. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Your choice. Good. Drag him out. Drag him out. Good. Here we go. Get the board, Boris. Good. Pass to the shooter. Space him out. Good. Here we go. Come. Good. Stay space. Good. Get it to him. Good. Go same side. Go same side. Pass to him. Go same side. Get out. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come. 
Good, drag them out, good. Here we go, really cover space. Uh, your players will do exactly what Christian just did there and the other guys did three times in a row too, was you need to create space. So it was this, I don't want that. Come here and drag them out, drag them out, drag them out, good, make a play. Draw the hedge with you, okay? It's like you're saying to that big slow guy, right? That big slow guy, you're saying, come on, come on, come on, and then get him. All right, I'm sucking him in, I'm sucking him in. Okay, and then I'm gonna beat him off the bounce. Or then I'm gonna attack. Do we understand? Sort of? Match up to these guys. Go, match up. Perfect. I'm gonna stay as a screener, okay? Here's the only rule I'm gonna add defensively to you guys, okay? I'm gonna roll every time. Don't pass me the ball. I suck, right? I am no good, do not give me the ball. But you have to help out on me, okay? What I mean by that is this. Come, Riddell, I'm gonna screen it, come off of it. I, I rolled my, my old way here. Can go either way because he's there, good. You have to help at least for a second and get it back and play it live. Do we understand? Ready? Here we go. Ready? Good. Come. Good. Good. That's it. Well done. Good. Board it. Good. Up top. Set yourself. Set yourself. Good. 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 I got you, Riddell. I got you, Riddell. Good. Good. Yep. Nice read. Well done. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Black ball. Black ball. Riddell's got it. Space the floor, Boris. I got you, Riddell. Wait for me. Good. Bam. Good. Good job. Nice job. Now we're making a read. Here we go, here we go. Up top again, space the floor. Push, good. Good. Now hold on, you want a screen right now? No, I'm not gonna screen you there. It's a terrible space to get a screen, right? Why is it a terrible space to get a screen? Okay. You be me, you screen it. Good. Where are you gonna go? Nowhere. Nowhere, exactly, okay? Just demonstrating why we don't screen here. There's nowhere to go but step on the sideline. Okay? We always want it higher. Okay? Thanks, guys. Come off right now and we'll sort of move on. Okay? Any questions about that? We're trying to get triangle situations at all times. What we don't have right now is we haven't really involved our role man in terms of a triangle pass. So all we're doing right now is looking for a shooter and teaching kids to space. Okay, important things. The, uh, the ball screen is not a two-man play. It's not. It's a minimum three, and really it's a five-person action. So what we're trying to teach these kids how to do in this type of setting, okay, is make a decision. So when the ball screen was over there and we had a match up here, this person is not just standing waiting for a bus. They are making a decision. If there is a hard hedge, they'll come out to get the ball. Okay, because we're not turning the corner, we don't need that space. But if I had it, boy, could I hit that roll man. I could get it to him every time. If he turns the corner, I need to be able to come here. Okay, so we started by working on our fundamentals of our pan position, body position, running into screens, running out of screens, and then we progressed to, let's see if the other players on the floor can make a decision. It's, it's the, you know what, it's the one thing that I, I agonize about teaching and how I can do it better. Because we try to do it, and I know we're not doing it good enough. And if you have any answers, I, yeah, I'm, I'll go to your clinic, please. Is teaching players to understand what they're going to do with the ball before they get the ball, right? Almost all of your players are completely focused on the ball and stand there like this, yeah, I'm here. They get it, and what do they do? Okay, what do I got? Right, way too late. I should be playing a knowing, yeah, there's an open baseline here I can attack right away. The middle of the floor is open. I got a cutter here. I got a post who's got great position. Bam, in. Okay, or, oh, attack. Okay, 
the old days of the intern and look, triple threat, they're gone, they're buried, they're dead. We don't have time. You have 24 seconds. Be able to play before you get the ball, okay? And that's kind of what we're trying to teach these guys to do a little bit, good? Now, let's go three on three, okay? Any three. Come on, guys, we haven't seen maybe. Come on. Match up, get a white and a black so we don't confuse people. We need one more matchup, white and black, guys. Perfect. Good. Now, let's go here. Play three on three. You got a ball. You're matched up. Perfect. Let's put you guys there. So you two guys, come on over here. Perfect. You two guys, come right there. Perfect. Now, we play a lot of three on three where we work on these decisions, but we put them in other spaces. And we're trying to teach them not to just play, but understand the game. This is one of the biggest things I noticed when I started coaching at a few international competitions is, uh, for a ball screen's a great example, Lithuania, all, like it's just their whole offense is ball screens. It's all they do from cadet to seniors, right? But what they do is they run it. They run a cup, they run a high ball, they run a wing ball. All the coaches just watch and they look. How are they guarding it? And even the players. Because they know as soon as you pick one, we're going to guard it this way, they're going to run that. They're going to trap it, we're going to flash the offside guy. They're going to switch it, we're going to do this. They're going to go under it, we're going to do this. Okay? So they're not, they're playing the game within the game, which is, to me, is really fun. Right? It's really fun. Okay? And it's so much more than running an offense, it's, it's playing basketball. Good. So we play three on three in scenarios like this a lot. Go away. You're good there. Perfect. Good. What I want you to do is we'll start down here. Okay? Perfect. Good. Good. Now, I want you to throw the ball out. Allow the pass, please. And sprint into a ball screen. Okay? Go. Okay. Freeze, 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 freeze. Good. Now, now take a look. Okay? Take a look. How's that guy playing defense on him. I would call this kind of a gap or a really soft hedge. You're just kind of showing out there. And that's not a bad thing. You're not wrong or right. It's just, there's 18 ways to guard a ball screen. Don't worry. Okay? Perfect. So you're going to turn that corner and you have to make a decision based on what the ball's doing. Okay? If he turns the corner, you keep this triangle. Roll, 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 roll. Wrong way to roll. That's okay for now. Okay, perfect. We've kept our triangle. What we can't have is this. Go back again. If you stay here, you turn the corner and start to roll. Turn the corner. Go. Go. Okay, freeze. Stop. Good. What's our formation now? It's a straight line. Okay? This is the key thing we're trying to teach. We do not want to be in straight lines as much as we can possibly be, okay? So you gotta do a better job of sprinting out of it, and you gotta do a better job of moving. Okay, good, go back, good. Now, I want you to be more aggressive in your hedge and come up a little more, good. Now hold, stop, as soon as we see this, now, and we teach this in our shooting drills, is one bounce into a hedge, and open him and drag him, good. You'd come out and lift. The look is here, right to there. Okay? Triangle pass. We got it? Yes? You guys just want to play out of this couple reps and I'll talk? Go. Play basketball. Play basketball. Just play straight three on three ball screen every time. You guys can switch every time. We'll just let them do it here for a while. Okay? Any questions about that so far? I'm going to change it now. Okay? I'm now going into tactical stuff here a little bit. Not tactical, but more reads. We play a lot of three-on-three -three ball screen and some four-on-four -four ball screen, but a lot of three-on-three -three ball screen, and we put guys in different spots, and we'll stop it. Okay, what could you have done here? What are your two choices? What are your two choices? Okay, how are they doing? I'm not even watching. Okay, good. Come, 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 come. Good, okay, good. Now, back up, back up, Casey. You couldn't quite get, him, get it to him, right, on the roll? Like you sort of opened, but you couldn't quite, didn't have the angle, right? Go back and do it again. Okay? 
Do it again. Everyone do the same thing. Everyone do the same thing. Good. Now he stops out of the freeze. Good. Good. You can start to roll. Sorry. Start to roll. Good. You got a bad angle. You can't quite get it to him, right? Good. Okay. But he might have a good angle. You see what I mean? Make that pass. We've stretched him out. Make it. Now dive him down. They switched it. They have a problem. Does that make sense? So we get a hedge. Pass. Okay? Pass. All right? Here we go. So again, it goes back to that three on O drill where he has to start to drag a player and then make a decision on whether he's going to kick it or attack the big guy again. I'm dragging out space and I'm going to go or I'm going to kick to get a triangle pass, right? That's what you're trying to work. Okay, stop here, stop here, stop here. Okay, come over on this side. Perfect, same thing. No, stay here, stay here, stay here. Perfect. We put them in different positions. What are your decisions? Play three on three again. Lots of three on three games. Perfect. Do the exact same thing and freeze it at the screen. Good. Stop. Now freeze. Stop. Perfect. Who has a great angle to pass in the ball right now? If you give it to him, what do you, you know what you're going to do before you get it, right? Excellent. Okay? That's a really important thing for them to recognize. It's a totally different read right now, isn't it? Okay? I get it. I wait. As soon as I see a hedge, I hit, pat, and we get you slip into the hoop. Do you understand? Okay, we bring it back again. Maybe they don't hedge very well. Come off of it hard. Pat comes in behind. We're trying to get it to him if we can. If not, we go back to Pat. Okay, go guys, play out of that, play out of that. Give a couple reps. The more you can just play, I'm, I'm a huge believer. The more you can just play three on three, four on four, and wrap it, and wrap it, and wrap it, and wrap it, and stop. And what was your decision? And then, they're still learning the decision? Take one piece out of the equation. So make, you know, like make the screener a coach. Simpler, right? And then let's make the decision over and over and over and over and over. Good. What's my time here? I got nine minutes? Okay. No? Less than that? Zero minutes? More, okay, we've got lots to talk about. Good, okay, let's change it. Come here again. Pat, or I want you to come down here, you two guys. Perfect, now, different spots. Now what do we do? You set the ball screen, good. Now, Pat, what are you gonna do here? You got some choices to make here. You're the help defense, right? What are you gonna do? Good. Good. So he's saying he could read it. He's got a lot of decisions to make himself, right? Is he going to stay with the lift? Are you going to help on the roll man? So you're saying if he stayed down there, you'd help on the roll man? Okay, perfect. That's what we want you to say. Good. So back up. I'm going to take your spot for one second, okay? So do this slow-mo here. Screen it. Roll. Good. Now watch this. Good. That's where I get the ball, right? So now, this, the screen roll, is not the guys who are playing. I'm the guy who's playing. A lot of times we run action here so that those guys can score. So now we're making another decision. Again, we're teaching decision making. We're teaching the decision making of you, okay? If your man goes to help, okay, I'm going to turn and seal him right there, and you can look to give it to me. Because let's face it, this is a really good spot to get the ball. Right? I mean, you guys don't know this, but coaches like me literally lie awake at night dreaming of things that we can get the ball right there. Hours and hours and hours. Just like they all do that too. I'm not the only one. Well, I might be the only one crazy enough. Okay, perfect. Now, I'll give you one more choice. Let's say Pat stays with you, right? Pat stays with you. Now your next choice is, Pat stays with you, come up here, give me the ball, good. Okay, now I become a triangle pass. So this guy now has a choice. Does he help? Post him. Does he not help? Lift. You got it? Play from there. Okay, again, we're playing three on three. Good, good. Charles, wait, stop! Holy cow, I just spent all night dreaming about getting the ball in this spot all night, all night, all night. And you get it there and you pass it out. You're killing me. You're killing me. 
you're killing me. Shoot the ball, man. Shoot the ball. Let's do it again. My goodness, all night I spent. Here we go. Good. Awesome. Switch it. Other guys can go. Other guys can go. Here we go. Now remember, all guys should be playing all spots here, right? We can all make decisions and reads and play. Okay? Remember your decision, Pat. Come. Good stop. Why are you going back that way? Bring him back. Go again. Go again. Go again. Don't get fancy on me, Casey. Good. Play. Good. Go again. Go again. Go again. Good. Now best stop. Now, Casey, redo your decision. Redo it in your head. Who is open? Yes. Well done. Okay? Keep playing. Keep playing. So I did ball side wing. I did offside block. I did offside wing. Okay? Only other one would be ball side block. Right? Ball side block. Good. Okay. Awesome. Bring it up top again. Good. Same thing. Match up here. Two matchups low now. Two matchups low. Perfect. Now I want you to sprint into a ball screen. Sprint, 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 sprint. Good, awesome, good. Now, perfect. Now you've got to read here where you can lift or you can space. Pretty much, right? You've got to take a look. Again, your man helps on the roll. You can come right up there. Your man stays with you. We can space into here. Okay? Play. Again. We need to rep this over and over and over. We need to go back and teach it. I mean, obviously, we don't quite have fundamentals down. We're not quite rolling the right way. We're not talking well enough on our screens. Okay? Let's change that right now. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. You start with the ball away. Start with the ball low, please. Start with the ball low. Perfect. Pass it to him and sprint into it and call his name and tell him you're coming to get him. Okay? Let's make that better right now. Good. Here we go. Pop. Good. 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 Now you did nothing, right? You got to pick one. Come high. Good. That's commonly just called a yo-yo, right? Yo-yoing the backside, right? They're yo-yoing the backside. Okay? No idea how much time I have. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Good job. Start it again. Start it again. Any questions about anything I've done in terms of the decision making part of it? So we taught some fundamentals of just screening and getting out. We taught using the screen with the bounce, dragging, using a triangle pass, the reattack. Okay. I missed a step in terms of two on two versus a coach, two on two live. Two on one live, before that even, right? We can make decisions and get repetition, repetition, repetition. Then it's three on three, multiple scenarios where we have to make a decision based on where they are. Okay? I can't believe, yes, question. Right, right. I, I'm, I'm a big believer in uh, lay out your expectations. Lay out, lay out a common consequence for not having the expectation and follow through on the consequence. Same as good parenting, right? We need to talk when we do this. So we do our fundamental drills. You have to talk. You don't talk, get out of the drill. Five push-ups, whatever. And then do it every time. Same as parenting, really, right? I mean, do this. This is what you have to do. If you don't do it, we do this, right? They'll learn really quickly, right? Really quickly. I'm not a hard ass, right? But, I, but I'll sub a kid out of a drill. And at our level, that's embarrassment enough a lot of times. You know what, subs? Because that's what I'd do in a game, wouldn't I? I'd sub them out to teach them, to tell them something, and then sub them right back in. So we can do that, right? Demand it every time, every time. It's, it's, it, I mean, just communication in general is, yeah, I mean, it's the hardest thing to teach, right? Especially, I mean, you have generally, you might have tall kids who are ashamed of being tall, and their shoulders are kind of rounded in, and their head kind of goes forward, right? And they're, don't look at me, I'm a big guy, right? I'm, I'm embarrassed. 
They're not going to be like this and vocal and assertive until they're older and more confident, right? So, these guys are having fun, aren't they? Okay? All right. Now, um, basically, I had everything I wanted to teach there, okay? Now, what's that? Question? I don't know. He's coaching his kids here, okay? Awesome. Give me five on five, guys. Give me five on five. Awesome. Good. Okay? Five on five. Now, let's just set just a common thing for ball screen. I'm going to talk about making space as much as possible. Okay? Can I get to just a matchup inside, a matchup inside? Doesn't matter who it is. Relevant. A matchup on the wing, a matchup on the wing, a matchup at the point. Perfect. Okay? Simple wing ball screen. Right? Put some things together. Simple wing ball screen. Now, go ahead, guys. It's white ball. Good. Casey just passed to a wing. Perfect. Good. Awesome. Now, go screen the ball for us. And freeze. Stop. Good. Okay? No good. Now, this is what will often happen in high I know I coached high school basketball for 14 years. Don't go, don't get me wrong. My teams are the same thing, right? Is this kind of scenario, right? How can we improve this? Stretch the floor, okay? Go right to the corner, come all the way to the sideline. Good. The more we can stretch it sideline to sideline, the more space he has to attack. Okay? Really important concept. I don't care how you do it. You could enter and cut through away, Casey, and be the corner man. Okay? But you still got to be ready, Casey. Now, remember our three on three here? Remember our three on three? Casey, you got a big decision to make. What is it? You spread the floor. Great. Awesome. You did that already. When Pat starts to use the screen, what's the choice that you're going to make? Oh, I'm testing him now. You didn't think you had school today, did you? Hey? If he's going to hedge it hard, you've got to pop. Now, you may not have anywhere to necessarily slide to. Right? We might cut a guy back door. You might have a guy slide, but you're fine there, right? But if he gets a hedge, I need you to come to the ball because you're the guy who's going to pass to the roll now. Okay? Perfect. Christian, you've got a big choice to make here. If you pin or not, right? So Riddell starts to cheat, what are you going to do? Seal him right under the rim. If Riddell stays with you, you could come up here. Okay? Good. We got it? So now we got some choices here. I'm going to take your spot, your cut, Pat. Perfect. Good. I'm going to come off of this. Now I've got some choices. I can hit there and go there. We've got them scrambling. Good. Christian has some choices. Come back. Stop, stop, stop. Boris, come scream me again. We just don't confuse people. It's this way. Never scream me to go to the baseline. I got nowhere to go there. Okay. Again, Christian's going to make a choice here. Good. Good. Bam. And I might get Christian right there. Great. The last thing, and we do this a lot, I shouldn't say that, but is Christian, you're seeing this right now. I want you to flash right to that right to that area right there, is I do one dribble there. Exactly. That's the look that we're going for, okay? So this would be one of those things in a game where we run our wing ball screen in the first play of the game, and our coaches are watching. Oh, they're hard hedging it. We're running that high post guy. Everybody should know it. One dribble, throw it, boom, high, low, and that's a dunk. Okay? For us, that's a dunk. Well, no. Sadly, it isn't. It's a power layup, but... If we recruit better, it'll be a dunk, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay? All right. Any questions about that? Just in terms of changing the spacing of the way you screen the ball of the rest of the players. No? Wow. Good. All right. Let's bring it up here again. Come again. Good. Let's change it here. You got the ball, Casey. Boris, be a trail guy. Perfect. Christian, you're fine where you are. Awesome. This is uh, the way Phoenix Suns ran, run their transition stuff, right? When Phoenix ran this a couple years ago, this was Amari Stoudemire. This is Grant Hill. Okay? This is, I don't know, pick a shooter. They had Jason Richardson, Raja Bell. 
I don't know, whoever. Uh, this is usually whatever Joe Power Forward they had that year who was a shooter. I don't know, was it Chandler, or Tim Thomas, uh, Boris, Dia, whatever. Right? Perfect, good. Okay? Now, we're screening in a transition environment. We come hard, hard, hard. Boris is probably a amount of the ball. Boris, you sprint into a ball screen, and we come off of it. We got the same choice as Christian. But what I want you to do, Christian, is stop, freeze there. Is Christian come right up into there? Okay, even this half step higher. Perfect, good. That's the look we want. So let's bring it back here. Casey, yeah, you're cut. You're cut. I just cut you from the team. Don't worry, I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, come screen here. Come give me a little hedge. Good. Flash there. Good. That's our look. Now, hold on, stop, Christian. Now, wait, freeze. Throw a freeze your arm. Who helped on Boris? Okay, stay there. You're cheating now. I told you to freeze. Who's open? Who's open? No, Jason Richardson's open. Right? He's way better than Pat. Pat stinks. Right? Come on. You're Grant Hill. You should know this. Right? So now we put a player there who can make a decision. We put our biggest, most athletic guy. And because we front pivoted, he is in full run to the rim. He's not shuffling. He's in full speed sprint. And now you have a choice. I'm going to take Christian's spot here. Okay? Run that through, kind of half speed. Casey, you're back on the team. Christian's cut now. Okay, give him a little hedge. Give him a little hedge. Good. Give me the ball. Good. Now, good. I've got that. Okay? Bring it back. Okay? And if I don't have that, I have that for a shooter. Pretty simple, really. Come off of it. One pass. Put a decision maker here. He has a diver. Boom. He's got a shooter. Okay? So now I've just shown you a half-court wing ball screen. I've shown you a high ball screen out of more of a transition. We do that out of transition a lot, where our four will throw the ball in, right? And he'll sprint from the throw-in spot right to this trail ball screen. Bam, hit him, open up, and play, and just flows into what we're doing offensively. If we get something great, if we don't, we don't. Okay? Any questions about that? I got people pointing and discussing and... Good, bad, no, wouldn't work, hate it. Yeah. Good. Let's talk about it, okay? Come out here. Pat's got the ball. Well, black team, go 2-3 zone, okay? Black team, 2-3 zone, okay? You're here. Come up here. Perfect. There, there, there. Good. Awesome. Good. The key thing against the zone is putting people where they're not. I don't care what you're in. But we can run our wing ball screen, Right? Even if we sat here, come away, come away, Casey. Go right in the corner. Perfect, good. Boris, come up and screen the zone. Right here. Perfect, good. Come off of it. Now watch what's happened here. Good. Come, come. One more dribble, one more dribble. Good, good. What you're trying to do, Pat, is make him have to play you. He's already playing you. Players make the mistake of going too close to this guy. He's already playing me. Good. I have two shooters who are open. Right? Riddell, don't get screened. Guard one of them. Perfect. Now who are you going to seal? Now, yeah, you could be that, or you could be that guy. Good. Now it's penetrate there, or pitch it. Pitch it. Pitch it. Good. And we have three on one to one and a half, about. Okay, does that make sense? It's the same concept. The thing you have to teach kids in a zone is, who in the zone do I screen? Because so often they're just going to go to the spot that you told them to screen and stand there, right? And what I call wait for a bus, right? Who in the zone do I screen? I'm trying to screen the elbow of the zone. Want me to give you another one? Okay, bring it up top here. Go through, Casey. Okay. All right. Dribble at. Here, let me take the spot. Let me take the spot. Good. I dribble at. Same concept. I drag him with me. Cut through, cut through, cut through, cut through and cut up top, cut up top right there, good. Now, I want you to come and screen the top guy in the zone, but be there at the same time as the ball. Okay, you got it? Let's try it again. Casey, you're just gonna come off of it. Okay, 
So all I'm doing is shifting it over. Good, good, bam. Catch, go, 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 good. Awesome, good. Now, how can we make this better? How can we make this better? Bring it back, go again. Christian, what I want you to do is, at the same time he's screening, I want you to screen middle, the middle of the zone, and Boris, I want you to come underneath. You got it? Come here, good, here, here, good. Come on it, come on it, attack. Good. You got to be able to shoot the ball, Casey, right? Come hard off him. We just set a good screen. Let's back up. Let's do it better. Did you, did you make contact with him? Really good contact? He got through pretty easy. I'm going to watch it now. Here we go. Good. Good. Awesome. Good job. So what we create is, we create for you, Casey, a situation where this guy has to guard you or guard Boris. One of the two every time. Is that a good example, right? We're just screening the ball in different ways, okay? Screen, screen the shift. Any other questions about anything? Well, yeah. Right. No. I mean, it depends on the scenario in terms of, I mean, you try to simplify it in terms of let's make good contact, okay, and then let's get separation from the screen, okay, and then it makes it simpler. I'm not a big believer in sequence one, sequence two, sequence three. The more you play that three-on-three -three game, the more they'll just be able to kind of make decisions out of it, and you got to do it all the time, all the time, all the time, right? I, I mean, I find, you know, the old... Uh, you know, you run your offense and you go, okay, here's our option one, here's our option two, here's our option three. You know, what if that guy drops dead of a heart attack? What if the man I'm guarding drops dead? He blows a knee. You get that kid out there still going, option one, option two, option three, option four. Score! Right? So I'm not a big believer in teaching options, more of scenarios and make decisions and put them in that scenario over and over and over and over and over and over and hopefully they can make that decision over time. That builds a way better player. It takes way more time. Builds a better player though, I think. Right? Um, yeah. M fundamentally, make good contact, get separation from the screen. That way you have the most amount of choices. Okay, in most of those three and three scenarios, there was kind of one guy there, right? So we had the offside guy, that's my, I'm looking at the roller him. I got a ball slot guy, I'm looking at the roller him. I got a post there, I'm looking at, right? What we tell kids to look at is, is the middle of the key, because that will tell you what you have. So as I come off of it, I need to look at how they're defending the role. I don't look at the role man, but I look at the space the role man is going to. Who is there? Right? Who's there? Is it the offside post there? Who's there? Is it my man there? Right? Or if I can't get around the screen, who's in my way? Is it the offside wing? Okay, who's in the space that I want to go to or that I want to make the ball to go to? Okay, I think that's a good question to ask. Any others? What do you mean? Because my topic is ball screens. The only reason. Sorry, I, I, that was a bit of an asshole thing, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Janet. That was, no, I mean, no. We don't all set ball screens all the time. Absolutely, no. I mean, I found I have found that the higher you go up, right, the more there is, the more it's part of the game. And the reason why it's more part of the game because you have less time to do things. What I find is we need to get an attack that, cre that forces them to help out before about 12 seconds left on the shot clock. So you think about it. I mean, mostly they'll walk the ball down the floor. They'll pass to the wing. They'll get it back. They'll pass to the wing. We're at 12. We're at 10. And they haven't had to do anything yet. They haven't had to go and help. They haven't had to switch anybody, right? So and this is what I found, the biggest thing that impacted me among Euro European teams was that the first thing they're doing is trying to create a situation where you have to help. 
It's a classic example. They, they love playing North American teams, right? Classic North American team, I'm going to get up on you, and I'm going to force you baseline. They're like, all oh, right. This is great. I have no intention of scoring here. But I'm going to drive till someone has to rotate, and then you're screwed. Because the ball's going to go pass, 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 pass. And at the end of it, someone's getting a layup or a wide open three. Right? And they just don't stop until they get that. But they just create that. So it, I find it's a good way to just to get a help situation, to force the defense there. Is it the only thing we do? No. We actually had a practice last week where we had no ball screens allowed because we're doing too much of them. Right? I mean, the key thing I think you're trying to do in basketball is get the ball to the paint to force the defense to collapse. There's two ways you do that. Dribble penetration or a post entry. And we do a lot of that. We don't have any post players who can really score consistently. But we give them the ball a lot, right? So that we can collapse and then play out of that. Okay, so I think that's another reason. So that's the less asshole answer, right? And the first one was an asshole answer to your question. Sorry. Any other questions? No? Okay. Oh, yeah, one more. Quick. Adam was pulling me out. I'm getting the hook here. Yes. How young? Okay. I'm not a big believer in putting a number on it. I would guess with your 9 and 12 year olds, no. Having said that, are there 9 and 12 year olds in the world who do this and do it well? Yes, there are. Right? Can they dribble with both hands with their head up? Some can. So some might be ready, right? Because that's like, if you can't dribble with your head up, there's not a lot of point in doing this, right? You should be working on dribbling with your head up. So by that same token, so you might have said to me, I've got 17-year-olds, should I do this? It would be wrong of me to say, yes, you should, because I don't know if those 17-year-olds can dribble with their head up or not. Right? So I don't know if I can put a number on it. Okay, as I don't know if that's a, fair, that's a fair answer or not to your question, but I think it's wrong to say, this age, no, can't do it. Eh. Right. Anything else? I'm going to hang around after. I'd love to talk basketball. Anybody wants to talk it? My email address is on our website. I'm always open. I've got tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff, electronic files. I send them out to people all the time. Just ask me. It's common for me to ignore your first email because I just get so many of them. Just email me again. Just keep bugging me. And I'll go, shit, that Don Thompson guy keeps emailing me. What's he doing, right? And then I'll, but I'll send it to him eventually, right? Okay, right. I'll get it to you, okay? I think I'm done. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.